The Gulf of Mexico is home to 4,000 offshore oil and gas platforms. They produce one of the most prolific ecosystems by area on the planet. 30,000 fish and as many as 5 million invertebrates such as coral, sponge, and crabs colonize the structure, creating a complex coral reef ecosystem. Marine scientists have investigated only a small number of the offshore oil and gas platforms, less than 2% of the 4,000 structures. This research team is collecting corals to determine their distribution on platforms across the Gulf of Mexico. It is believed that corals are leapfrogging from one platform to another on their migration across the continental shelf. This scientist, Steve Colian, is studying the population dynamics of platform ecosystems. He is cutting open a sponge to discover the types of fish that capitalize on a free lunch. What you see here is a post-larval French angelfish. It's about two weeks old. We're seeing adults and juveniles at these platforms. There are about 50 different species of fish. Some are laying their eggs right on the oil and gas platforms, and the others are drifting in as a larval state. And we see abundance of both types. Uh, they include angelfish, wrasses, different types of damsels, nine species of damselfish. The controversy is, is whether or not artificial reefs uh, produce fish or just attract them. Uh, the oil and gas platforms are vastly different than your normal artificial reefs. Because they rise through the water column and up through the splash zone, most natural reefs and other artificial reefs only occupy 10 to 40 percent of the water column. On platforms, shallow water fish, midwater fish, and deep water fish can all be found in the same place. That's why platforms are 10 times more productive the natural reefs and other artificial reefs. This platform is clearly producing thousands of obligatory and cryptic reef fish. There are no natural reef habitats around here. This site we're at right now is 50 miles away from the closest place in which a French angelfish may originate naturally. Uh, these fish are not swimming in. They're uh, demersal fish, not pelagic fish, so they have to arrive here uh, either at a larval state or get swept in or move in from platform from platform as adults and then they lay their eggs. So we see all kinds of juveniles here so and adults and that proves that they're producing fish, not merely attracting fish.